In this video of Express, we are going to have a look on the static files. Basically, whenever clients make a request, it actually requests for a web page. And for responding a particular page, we need some more type of files, such as a JavaScript, a CSS, or some images. So what we can do, we can put all these particular files in a common directory. Like here you can see the example, I have a directory called public inside which I can create some more separate directory individually for the images, CSS or JavaScript files. And by the time you want to add the reference of any of the particular file, you don't need to give the name of this public directory and you can directly refer by giving the folder name along with the file name. If required, you can add multiple repository files at the same time by using multiple express.static methods. So let's see practically how we can do all these static file concepts practically. Before getting started with the static files, let's first of all see the structure of my program. Like here, first of all, I have created this app.js along with the package.json. Views folder is there where I have created the pug files as a web page and apart from that we do have a public folder. Inside this public folder we'd be putting all the static files such as the CSS, JavaScript or images. In this example I have just taken an image here inside the folder called images and here you can see there is a logo.png file which is nothing but a tutorials point logo. So we'll see how we can access that as here you can see in the root location we have a public folder and then images inside which you will be getting this. Now if I'll come to the pug file here you can see HTML head body h3 that is the heading. Apart from that we have the img src is equal to images slash logo dot png. Images folder is residing inside the public folder but I have not specified it right here. So here I have used this app.use method in which I have specified that this public directory is going to be the static directory. That means you don't need to pass the name of this directory whenever you are referring. So uh, pug folder, uh, view engine pug is already being set for the views look, uh, directory. We have already specified the name of the directory right here. And now I have also set the public static files folder. Now as soon as I'll make a request for this home uh, page, I will get this index.pug file which is nothing but this file. So let's see how the output is looking like. I have already started the server right here as you can see. So uh, let's directly come to the browser and here you can see like I am able to get the image. If I'll come here to see the page source, you will be getting images slash logo dot png. So if I'll do something like images slash logo dot png, so you would be getting directly from here. All right. But again, you can see I have not passed the complete location. Like if I will pass public slash images. I will not get anything because I don't need to specify the public as I have already specified that in the express application in the static files. Alright. So this is all about the static files in express.